Have you failed a book before? That's an interesting question. I mean, uh, yes, I guess the answer is we, is we have. Um, the good thing about it is we failed fast. We have a manuscript sitting in a closet or a drawer somewhere um, called Lemurs in the Louvre, the Louvre being that famous museum in Paris, France. And it was kind of a cool concept. It was about the idea that when you look at a piece of art, you, you see what's inside the frame, but there was this imagination game where it's like, well, what happens if that picture continued all over the wall? Like, what, what, what's outside the frame? And I love the concept, and I still hope, I, I still want to bring it back someday in a better story or as part of a different book or something. But that was when we wrote it, and honestly, like, our illustrator kind of said, you know, this isn't your best work. And some of our friends were kind of like, you know, we, we, this, isn't, this isn't that good. <laughs> yeah. But, you no, know, it's so funny. I, I forgot about that. Because um, when I heard the question, first my question was, well, what is failure? Um, and honestly, I think for failing a book, it, it's just not getting started and it's not doing it. And so I wouldn't say yet that that book is a failure. I think that what happens, some books are better than others. That is for sure. And every book we've written, we've got, we've been able to improve. Um, but that one is, it, it's, it still exists. It's in the cutting room. And like I said in the, in the keynote, you have to have a place where you hold on to things. Um, we have a closet and a, a box inside the closet where that lives. And you're right, Hans, like, I think we'll come back to it and dust it off one of these days. Yeah. Or not. But yep. yeah.